Welcome back to Better Electrically. Before we begin the video of our autonomous future, I would like just to say, if you like this video, please give me a like down below. If not, let me know in the comments what I can do to make these videos better. I always love feedback. So if I can do something to make these better, I'd love to hear it. I watched the presentation on the Nissan Aria when Alfonso was demonstrating and talking about the autonomous future. How in the future, our vehicles We'll be able to take us wherever we need to go without any input. And it got me thinking, is our autonomous future really the best idea? I think it just depends on the circumstances. Um, for maybe older people, or let's say even young people on the same note, that may have poor eyesight or poor motor skills due to either illness or age, wherever the case may be, I think the autonomous idea would be a great way to help people get moved around if they are unable to drive, if they, whether they're, let's say, physically impaired or visually impaired, and they can't, by law, be able to be behind the wheel. But if the car could, car, truck, van is autonomous and can take them where they need, it would be a good idea. But at the same time, I believe that as autonomous does become advanced, I like how Tesla's doing the approach. Yes, it's a purchase add-on, but you will have the choice to either put it in autonomous or not and still drive. Now, we're still in the early stages. Tesla's still around level two, level three autonomy. In my opinion, I think they're really getting closer to level four, but you do have certain companies out there that do use LiDAR that will be fully autonomous in a geographical area. I think it would be better for car manufacturers to make autonomous something to be used on the side. So let's say Tesla, because I love Tesla. I'm not gonna say I'm not a fanboy, but I guess from some perspective I could be considered one. I like the idea how they're doing it. You can either put in I mean, it's not fully autonomous yet, but they do have the navigate on autopilot on, on ramp and off ramp. So, I mean, there's a part of the way there, but you have to enable it. I think that's the best scenario. I don't like the idea of getting into a car and then it taking me wherever I want to go. I love to drive. So I would like the idea to drive wherever I want to go. But let's say, um, since for me, I work late shifts into the nights and then I'm driving at two, anywhere between two to 5 a.m. in the morning. After a long night, I'm on the interstate highway for almost 40 minutes. I do get really badly drowsy. So I would like the idea that if I do get too exhausted behind the wheel, the fully autonomous would be there so I wouldn't have to worry about getting into a wreck or an accident. But I would like the ability to enable it. So I'm hoping in the future Manufacturers don't make cars that are so autonomous that the steering wheel is completely removed. I would like a car that has the autonomous built in, which I believe Tesla will be the first one to actually have fully autonomous across a major fleet, not just a geographed area. I would rather have the idea that I can drive or go fully autonomous, but that would be up to me how we go about it. But who knows what's going to happen. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Do you think in the future all vehicles won't have steering wheels no more that we'll just hop in and they'll take us where we need to go? Or do you think, like how I hope, you'll still have that steering wheel and it'll still be your vehicle. And if you want it to be in autonomous mode, it can be in autonomous mode. But if not, you're still a great, you can still be a driver behind the wheel. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.